Hey, hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch action figure review. This beautiful specimen I have in front of me and you is The Mandalorian, number 94 in the Black Series line. Um, very, very thrilled at this figure. Um, I've actually picked up a couple of extra, couple extras of this guy. Um, one reason, I will get to that very, very shortly. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show this figure off in his sort of pose look. I've got him in here because um, this is just such a cool figure. I can't get, I really can't get enough of it. He's uh, spent more time out in the living room with me while I'm just watching TV at night than actually on display in my figure room here. So um, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. Uh, we're just, just around about a month away from the debut of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus um, when it releases in the US on November 12th and here in Australia on November 19th so um, definitely going to try and get the hook up of that first episode early um, we'll find a way but yeah this is just a seriously sick figure now in terms of accessories he is holding his big rifle here um, I'm not sure what the name is just yet but it's obviously inspired by the animated debut Boba Fett from the holiday special um, which wasn't so much of a rifle as it was a staff with the two tines at the front, much like this one here it is at the end of the barrel. Um, so they've t t put a different take on it, which is absolutely extraordinary. I'm just going to remove that and get him in a sort of pretty standard pose. And thank you. Now we'll get a look at the rifle up close. This is a really cool stock on the back there. Scope. And of course the uh, bit at the end there it looks really great. Now there is this big peg on the back which fits into the peg hole on the back. Um, I will mention I have actually glued his sort of cape over the top. Um, just so it sits nicely where it's meant to. I've just simply put a spot of glue under there. Um, and then I think on the back, I also glued down the belt um, so that this peg hole here is in the same spot um, as the belt. And this is the peg hole that has the spot for the rifle. Now it's not a super tight fit, doesn't go in all the way, um, but it's just, it just sits there, it gives it a, um, just a bit of a look, it's just a bit of a good look about it. Um, the reason it doesn't go in all the way because if you've got the cape lined up where it's meant to be, um, the poncho, so the rifle's sitting flush against that as opposed to in his back. So, but yeah, definitely, definitely has the sort of awesome bounty hunter gunslinger look about him there. Also comes with a pistol, blast pistol here in a working holster. Um, I do find that this little peg on the holster doesn't stay in when the when the pistol's in there. But again, nice little quick draw pistol. I hope we get a uh, Western style jewel. I think that would be really, really cool to see in the series. So let's get a close look at the figure. We'll start with his helmet. Now this is where I had a discrepancy on the first one I got on Force Friday. Um, and I'm a, I, I'm a little bit nitpicky, um, because we all know that the Mandalorian helmets, at the base of the helmet, it does taper down to the front of the visor there. Um, and we'll compare it to the first one that I got. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of, you can see, see the difference in shape there. On the uh, chin, chin of the chin of the lid, there I suppose you could say it. The chin of the bucket. Um, yeah, it doesn't taper down. Um, it was only um, coming across a couple more Mandalorians. Um, I picked one up for for someone else, and I picked an extra one up for myself. Um, I wanted to do some customizing. Um, eventually, I want to replace the soft goods. Um, I was only noticing, it was the only thing that really bummed me out, this is the one I got on Force Friday, and that was the only thing that really bummed me out, is I didn't like the shape of the helmet, it just looked a bit, looked a bit, not quite right. Um, 
and it was just just gazing upon this one in, in its packet um, still in the box and I thought hang on that looks a little bit different um, so there is an error I, I, I'm saying it's an error it could just be a problem with one of the molds um, but I'm glad there is a fix out there for it because um, I just wasn't that thrilled with the look of the helmet on the first time around so I'm glad I've been able to get another one to swap that out with um, and I'm much happier with with this one so that said, um, it is a really nice looking helmet, some nice weathering. I've seen a lot of people hit them with customizing already um, to really get a nice, really shiny chrome look. Some people have done some amazing stuff with this figure. Um, I'm pretty happy to keep it, keep it as stock as possible. Um, like I said, I might go down the soft goods for the, uh, for the poncho cape thing somewhere down the line, but for the moment, I'm pretty happy with him like this. Now this is, we're assuming this is an early stage of his armor in the Mandalorian because we have seen photos where he has his armor updated um, with a lot more chrome and silver stuff on him um, but for the most part um, yeah he's got this sort of sort of reddy brown sort of armor th scattered throughout most of the figure cool little touch here is on this shoulder he has a sh shore trooper shore trooper um, shoulder bell which is cool. Um, we've seen a we've seen some photos where that has been replaced, and he also has. I think these are from a short trooper too. Um, I could be wrong. It could just be a reminder of which way to shoot. <laughs> but all of it looks really cool. The nice weathering on the uh, on the chest armor here. There's pock marks and carbon scoring and stuff up on the shoulder armor. Even around the back there on the shoulder. The belts look nicely weathered. So he's even got dings and dents in the armor on his back. Um, not weathered or anything, but they're there. <clears throat> Leaning down at his legs. More sort of used, used armor that he's just using temporarily until he gets something better. Um, that's what I'm assuming. But I like all the little, just all the details here on his, on his belt. really great looking down this shin armor here looks very similar to I think it's one of the the tank drivers from Rogue One I think that's what it's from I'm just blanking at the moment I didn't uh, check that before I spoke about it but we obviously with a belt wrapped around it some other bits and pieces it's like he's got the similar knee knee pad there to to Boba Fett. Another little pouch there, and his boots down below. Like just an awesome looking figure. Um, yeah, no doubt we'll have some updated versions of the Mandalorian as he evolves um, throughout the seasons. As we know, they're already working on a second now. So I'm just going to give you another little 360. And we'll uh, and we'll wrap up this review. I've uh, got a couple more for the Black Series to to have a chat about, and then we'll get on to some more different stuff. But yeah, just an awesome looking figure, just really really cool. Um, before I go, um, thought I'd mention the articulation. Now he has a ball jointed head. He has a ball jointed neck too, so he gets some movement out of that neck. Really good movement and twists and pivots and stuff. Uh, ball hinge shoulders, the butterfly joint in the uh, in the underarm there or around the around the shoulder. Ball jointed elbows, ball hinge wrists, uh, ball joint torso, ball jointed hips, swivel thighs, double joints in the knees, hidden really well, and joints in the ankles. So all the all the delicious articulation that you could want. That mythology of who Boba Fett was back in the day is sort of being revived through this character, which is really, really exciting. Um, we don't, don't have a backstory or anything to this guy, and uh, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a real, real cool show. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'll see you on the next video. May the Force be with you.